Hi everyone, I'm Miss Radovojevic. I go by Miss Rad, and I wanted to give you guys a brief, just couple of things to think about as you guys are going through this course and some tips and tricks to help you to be successful. So the first thing is whenever you are getting into a new class, whether it's this class or any cl other class, get used to and kind of work your way around the course itself in Canvas. And so when you're specifically looking at my course in the syllabus section and in the course calendar section, so this area here, the syllabus section here, that is where you're going to find your course calendar. And your course calendar is going to be really what you need to focus on. It has all the due dates listed. It has when exams are available and all of that. But I want to go into the module section to show you a couple of things just so that way you know where to get some information how to approach the course. The first thing is there is some information in the getting started section, some information about me and the instructor bio, all of that. But really the meat of it is going to be in these module folders. So the week one, part one of two is really where you're going to be looking at is where to start instructions for this course. So there's a few things here that I wanna point out. I'm not gonna go through it. You can read all of it, but it's just so you, that way you know where things are located, gives you a rundown of what to expect with the course, gives a rundown of the modules themselves. There's a few videos in here. So all of my PowerPoints that you guys are going to have throughout the semester, whether it is a lecture PowerPoint or a lab PowerPoint, is going to have audio on it, and there is going to be a laser pointer. So that is one of the first things that I would do is get familiar with how to listen to audio and see the laser pointer in a recorded PowerPoint. I will warn you, if you have a Chromebook, Chromebooks are not full computers, which means you're not going to be able to install Office onto your computer. You'll be able to use Office, but you can't install it. And because of that, the audio doesn't really work with Chromebooks. So be aware of that. There's some information on lab assignments, how to do those, basically how to open them, how to complete them, and how to submit them. There's some videos on useful features in Canvas while taking quizzes and some important information about exams themselves, what's required, and then also your grades and how to check your grades. So that's the first thing in that first module after the Getting Started module. It's basically this week one, where to start instructions, all of that. I've got some study skills and techniques PowerPoint that you can look at if you want as well, and then just some other information that you need to complete. So I'm going to go through the first module just so that way you guys get a understanding of how this course is set up and how to approach it. So every week, the first thing you really need to look at is the unit introduction for that week. So in the unit introduction, you are going to get a rundown of what lecture you're going through, the labs that you're going through, as well as your open response, as well as the figures you need to know for the exam. There's a lot of things to identify in this class. So this is the first places I would look is your lecture is going to tell you by chapter, what chapters we're going over in that unit and exactly what is covered in that unit, just kind of the general topics. The big thing here is the labs. So the labs here are the things that you're going to have to complete in conjunction with the lecture as well as take exams. So I tend to name my labs according to the chapter that they go to. And the reason I do this is because I really want you to go through the lecture material before attempting the lab. And you notice that note right here. And that's because the labs are supposed to help you understand the concepts you learn in lecture. If you skip straight to lab, you are missing a lot of information. And so you're gonna be missing pieces of information and it's gonna make it so much harder. So do yourself a favor, go through the lecture and then go through lab. In the course calendar, I actually have to have it listed that way. Go through the lecture and then the lab for that day, and that's going to make things a lot easier. Again, this is just information for you, figures to know, all of that. Make sure you go through each one of those every time you start a new unit, just simply because it's going to give you a rundown. The next thing is you'll notice the lecture PowerPoints. So in this unit, we have three. So each one has a lecture PowerPoint. And so you click on that and then you can actually see all the material. And again, all of my PowerPoints have audio on them. So look for that audio. The next couple of things are going to be helpful videos, memes, and practice tests. And you notice it says optional materials. These are things you do not have to complete, but they are there to help you. So whenever I have a video that I find on YouTube that I think is helpful to 
help you understand a concept. And sometimes I'll refer to these in the lab as well. This is where you're going to find them. So like all the chapter videos for chapter one are in this folder and I'll have a folder for every chapter. So that way the videos are se separated by chapter. The other thing that you're going to see are practice tests. Practice tests are optional. They do, they're not extra credit. They are, they don't count toward your grade. They're simply there to help you test your knowledge and help you get used to how I can ask questions on an exam. Because the big thing in this class is that I'm using new terminology that you're learning for the first time in this class. But the way that the exams are set up is I'm using that scientific terminology in the exams. So this just gives you an idea of how I can structure questions. These are not the exact questions on the on the exams, but they are going to give you an idea of how I can ask a question. The next couple of things, lab instructions and lab assignments, these things always go together. And so the big thing with these is that if there is a lab instruction, you need to have that open as well as the lab. So in this example, chapter one anatomical terms lab, there's no lab instructions. That's gonna tell me immediately that if there's no lab instructions, it is directly out of the PowerPoint and out of the textbook. So that's where you're gonna, what you're gonna use to complete that lab. But chapter 3A, you'll notice that the diffusion osmosis lab instructions and the lab itself. So the first thing I would do is I would open up the lab instructions and there are two major things that you need. I have three things in here, but there are two things that you absolutely need to help you go through this after you have done the lecture. So the big thing is you have the lab PowerPoint that has audio on it. So this is gonna help you go through the lab. And then there's videos that go along with the lab. Those are the two major things you're gonna need. The additional thing here is these written lab instructions. So if you are a reader and you learn by reading, this stuff is basically in addition to the lab PowerPoint. The lab PowerPoint really does give you everything that you need. The written lab instructions are just additional in case you need them, but most often I find that students really don't. You need the lab PowerPoint and you need the, the videos. So again, whenever you complete a lab, Notice how it was over chapter 3A, okay? I would go through the lecture first, go through the lecture for that day. Then I would go into the lab instructions and then into the lab itself. Exams are only going to be available on certain days and times that is listed in the course calendar. So that just kind of gives you the rundown of how the course is set up. Again, I'm going to reiterate this. Always go through your lecture before you go through your lab. If you go through your lab first, you can do that but you're not gonna be as successful as you will be if you go through the lecture, understand that material, and then go through the lab. Because again, the labs are there to help reinforce concepts you learn in lecture. As always, if you have questions, just shoot me an email and let me know and I will be happy to help.